Thank you very much. Good morning. Welcome to uh, this very uh, special moment when uh, in the United Nations uh, we always have the privilege of drawing on the goodwill of people and individuals across the world who in very many different domains of the United Nations work are willing to dedicate some of their time to promote both the cause of the United Nations and multilateralism but also to bring their special capacity to reach out to a broader public, to a broader professional community. This morning the United Nations Environment Program is very pleased to announce the appointment of Pavan Sukhdev, um, born in India, in many ways uh, embedded in India, but also a, very much a global voice in the field of biodiversity and the discussion on the green economy as our new Goodwill Ambassador with a particular focus on green economy and the issues that he has been working on. Some of you will already have seen the press release. Pavan has a long and highly successful career that uh, took him from his days uh, at university into the banking and financial world where he has over the years um, led a number of very significant parts of first, um, uh, well let me not make any commercial advertisements here, so two very well-known international banks and uh, part of that brought him also back into India. Um, since then, however, and this is one of the reasons why we in UNEP in particular wanted to persuade Pavan to become a goodwill ambassador for us, he has been one of the clearest and most internationally recognized voices in rethinking the debate between economics and environment, between the economy and sustainability, between the notion of what represents development for the poor either defined only by economic data alone or understanding the economy of the poor in order to make sustainable development deliver for them. In India, as in every country, we have spent the last 100, 150 years in a debate where environment and action on environmental sustainability is frequently portrayed as being detrimental to economic progress and development. It has been, as far as we in UNEP are concerned, the great myth of the 20th century. Pavan has been at the forefront of a community of economists, development experts, environmental experts, social science experts, in helping us to, first of all, open the eyes to the contradictions inherent in this supposedly adversarial relationship between environmental sustainability and economic progress. But he has also gone further. He has been at the forefront of two very significant processes over the last few years that are also central to the discussions at this conference of the parties here. First of all, he was the study leader of the Economics of Ecosystems and Biodiversity report series that truly in just two or three years provided the world with a different lens on this whole issue, a new template within which to look at the role of biodiversity in development and to make reference also to Dr. Manmohan Singh, India's Prime Minister's reference yesterday to the GDP of the poor. The TEEP reports challenge the notion that biodiversity is the preserve of a well-off society that can worry about it once it has destroyed most of it and to recast the attention towards how biodiversity and ecosystems underpin the livelihoods of the poor. Pavan then also became in UNEP over the last two years or two years ago by now, the leader of the Green Economy Initiative, which produced the seminal report that fed into the Rio Plus 20 process and has introduced, if you want, one of the most forward-looking concepts of challenging the notion that sustainable development happens in silos. Action in the social domain conditions progress in the economic domain. Progress in the economic domain determines progress in the sustainability domain. The three are interdependent and the concept of a green economy, an inclusive green economy, which Pavan has been at the forefront, again, of an international team that has articulated in our UN negotiations this concept, has made him one of UNEP's most precious assets. But, as you know, great assets have a way of being relevant to many different actors. And Pavan today not only leads GIST Advisory, which is a, a specialist consulting firm, He's also the board member in a number of organizations. He leads international processes and since a few weeks is also 
an author who hopefully will make the bestseller list of a new book called Corporation 2020, and I'm sure he will say a few words about it. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure today to confer upon uh, Paman Sukhdev the title of Unit Goodwill Ambassador, and in this ceremony here to sign the letter of appointment and then to hand over to him.